Hey friends, welcome back. And today we are going to determine the activity and activity coefficient by using a vapor pressure method. Now this method can be further studied into two categories. That is, first is determination of vapor pressure of solvent and second is determination of vapor pressure of solute so uh, first we are going to determine the vapor pressure of solvent and then we, are, we will determine the vapor pressure of solute so in order to determine the vapor pressure of solvent we will consider a simple system like uh, we have a uh, methanol which is filled in a 100 ml bottle so suppose if you consider that we have a container or a bottle and in which there is 50 ml of methanol which is present in this and we know that methanol is a volatile if this bottle is kept to attain equilibrium then after some period of time as we know that methanol is a volatile solvent some amount of methanol will evaporate and it will cover up the empty space in the bottle and this empty space or and after certain number period of time there will be an equilibrium between the liquid and the vapors which are present in the bottle okay and as we all know that when there is an equilibrium between the liquid phase and the vapor phase the chemical potential on in both the phases are same and the chemical potential of any of the component which is present in the liquid it is given by mu is equal to mu zero plus rt log of p where mu zero is the standard chemical potential and p is the partial pressure of that component which is present in the vapor phase now if we consider that the vapors are behaving ideally then we can write that the partial pressure is proportional to the mole fraction of the component which is present or component of the solution so if we are considering that the vapors or the methanol vapors which are present will are behaving ideally and if they are behaving ideally then the partial pressure can be written as proportional it is proportional to the mole fraction and hence uh, we can substitute mole fraction in place of partial pressure and our equation will become mu is equal to mu zero plus rt log of x this is for an ideal system okay this is for an ideal system and if we are considering and non-ideal system then for non-ideal system the above equation is modified by introducing activity coefficient so as we have discussed in case of activity coefficient that activity is related to any term by activity coefficient for a non-ideal system so we can write gamma into x so if we want to relate activity with mole fraction and it is if it is a non-ideal system then for that we can sub, we can write gamma into n so for a non-ideal system so as if we are considering that system as we know that methanol is a real system so for real systems or for non-ideal systems we need to introduce gamma and hence we can write mu is equal to mu zero plus rt log of gamma x and as i have told we can write for gamma x we can it can be substituted by activity a okay so for that we can substitute the activity and we can write mu is equal to mu zero plus rt log of a now if we compare both these equations that is this equation and this equation then by comparing both this equation we can write that activity or if we are considering solvent and if we are considering that a1 is the activity of solvent and a2 is the activity of the solute and p1 is the partial pressure of 
the sorry p1 is the vapor pressure of the solvent and p2 will be the vapor pressure of solute so by comparing both this equation we can write activity is proportional to the vapor pressure or more precisely we can write activity a1 is proportional to p1 that is activity of solvent is proportional to the vapor pressure of the solvent and in order to remove the proportionality sign we will write activity we will write activity is equal to any empirical constant k into p1 and for determining the activity a1 of the solvent from its vapor we should find out the value of k in order to determine the activity from its vapor pressure we should know the value of k and in order to evaluate the value of k we will assume that our liquid is a pure liquid that is over here initially uh, we will consider that initially we are taking pure liquid and for pure liquid or as we all know that for pure solids and pure liquids activity is always equal to unity and for pure liquid the vapor pressure p1 can be written as p1 square or we can write p1 raised to 0 that represents the vapor pressure in its pure state so if we are considering that the system which we have taken is pure then activity can be considered as unity and the vapor pressure can be written as p1 0 so both these values can be substituted in this equation and hence we can write 1 is equal to k into p1 0 or we can write p1 0 will be equal to 1 upon k so sorry uh, we can also write k will be equal to 1 upon p10 so we know the value of k this value we can substitute in the above equation and hence we will have a1 is equal to p1 upon p10 so activity of the solvent is nothing but it is the ratio of the vapor pressure to its vapor pressure in the pure state so we can find out the vapor pressure when we have we uh, when we have solution and after that we already know the vapor pressure in its pure state is known so by taking the ratio okay suppose uh, we are mixing say methanol and ethanol and if we are taking methanol as an sol solvent and ethanol as a solute so we can find out the vapor pressure of we can find out the vapor pressure p1 and the vapor pressure of pure methanol is already known so by taking the ratio we can easily find out the activity of the solute and then from activity obviously activity coefficient gamma can also be calculated very easily now in order to determine the activity of solute in order to determine the activity of solute if we consider that solute is a volatile then the activity can be calculated as we have derived in the earlier case that is a can be or a1 can be written as p1 upon p10 so activity can be uh, derived in the same way but in this case the constant k but over here as we know that the solute is in very less proportion and if we consider that our solution is a very very dilute solution then under such circumstances we can write that the activity will be proportional to the mole fraction that is if we are considering that we are the solution is very very dilute solution then for dilute solution or for a very dilute solution we can write activity is directly proportional to the mole fraction and if we consider that a2 dash is the activity and x2 dash is our mole fraction and p2 dash is the vapor pressure of the solute in such a dilute solution then we can write a2 dash will be equal to x2 dash sorry it is equal to so a2 dash will be equal to x2 dash and that can be written as k p2 dash 
और वी कैन राइट के विल बी इक्वल टू पी टू डैश सॉरी के विल बी इक्वल टू ए टू डैश अपॉन पी टू डैश ओके एंड इफ ए टू इज द एक्टिविटी ऑफ सॉल्यूट एंड सपोज इफ वी राइट दैट ए टू इज द एक्टिविटी ऑफ सॉल्यूट एंड पी टू इज इट्स वेपर प्रेशर देन वी नो द एक्टिविटी इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू वेपर प्रेशर एंड वी कैन राइट ए टू विल बी इक्वल टू के पी टू एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के वी हैव ऑलरेडी फाइन फाउंड इट आउट सो वी कैन राइट ए टू विल बी इक्वल टू एक्स टू डैश ओके सो इट इज एक्स टू डैश सो एक्स टू डैश अपॉन पी टू डैश इन टू पी टू ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस और इट इज देर फॉर नेसेसरी टू मेजर द पार्शियल वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ सॉल्यूट ओवर अ वेरी डायल्यूट सॉल्यूशन एज वेल एज ओवर द एक्सपेरिमेंटल प्रेशर एंड फर्दर वॉट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन डिवाइड दिस इक्वेशन बाय द मोल फ्रैक्शन एक्स टू सो दिस विल बी डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स टू एंड दिस वी कैन राइट इट एज गामा x2 that is the activity coefficient so this gamma x2 a by x as we know that activity can be written as gamma into the uh, gamma activity can be written as a is equal to activity coefficient into the mole fraction so gamma will be activity by mole fraction and hence i can write gamma x2 will be equal to a2 by x2 and further if the value of p2 by x2 for number of solutions is determined then the values can be extrapolated to n up, n up to 0 that is uh, if we can plot a graph of p2 versus n2 and that plot can be extrapolated up to 0 so at 0 the value that is obtained will be equal because at n2 is equal to 0 the solution will be a very dilute solution or equivalent to 0 so this will give us this value or it will give the value of it will give the value of x will get the value of p2 dash upon x2 dash will get this particular value and this value can be substituted in this equation we have this value both the values are known and hence we can easily calculate the activity coefficient and activity can be determined hope the topic is clear thank you very much